Hey, what's up, Stringlings? Today we're doing another installment on the Great Canadian Pedal Board. Today we're going to be talking about the Royal Electronics Fantasio Fuzz. Let's check it out. When I started collecting pedals from Canadian pedal builders, the first thing almost everybody offered me was their signature fuzz pedal. Um, it's almost as if, I don't know, maybe fuzz is someplace where a lot of pedal makers start building. But I do have to say, it is one of the things that really is a signature type of sound for each individual uh, manufacturer. So if you're shopping for a fuzz tone, make sure that you do shop around and try a bunch because they're very, very unique. Sometimes they're based on really classic circuits like the, like the fuzz face or the big muff or the tone bender. Uh, and sometimes they're reimagined versions of those. So it really pays to get some on a board to get some in front of an amp, try them out and see if it matches the kind of sound that you're looking for. The one that we're looking at today, uh, from Royal Electronics is um, fundamentally, I think it's based on a tone bender type circuit, but it does some other kind of really cool and weird things uh, that we're definitely going to check out. This one was developed in a collaboration with Hugo Moody, who's a, a well-known uh, punk singer from uh, from Quebec. Uh, he's a, he sang with the um, uh, the Saint Catharines and. Um, there's another band. Uh, the yes Yesterday's Ring was the other one. Uh, and uh, so it's going to have a little bit more edge. It's going to have a little bit more more aggression to the tone, I think. Uh, when you hear it, it's not that kind of creamy classic tone, but it sweeps from uh, really thick fuzz to almost a, th a synthetic or a synthesizer type sound. You'll see what I'm talking about when we when we dig into this pedal, but uh, be sure that you, uh, you check it out. All of their links are down in the description, as well as the links to our series sponsors, Next Gen Musical Limited in Nepean, Ontario, who are supplying all of the, the parts and hardware for the Great Canadian Pedal Board, um, as well as Peg City Pickups and Amps and Effects, who are Again, all linked in the description. So these are some of our series sponsors. I'm playing today on the Luonotar uh, Steve Barrett Custom uh, model with the Peg City Super Clutch Humbuckers. Uh, I am playing through the ML Sound Labs Humble once again. Nice clean amp tone. Let's get this plugged in. I'll give you the clean tone and we can start digging into some of this fuzz. Okay. So we're back and I'm just going to give you a little sampling of the clean tone. You should be kind of used to it by now. I'm not uh, I'm not using as much reverb this time because I really want the fuzz to speak. Okay, and that's just the bridge pickup, the neck pickup. Uh, very nice, well balanced, very vocal. Uh, pickups. Um, if you haven't seen my review on these pickups, please do. Uh, Peg City is my favorite pickup supplier for hand wound uh, and hand voiced pickups pretty much anywhere. So we're going to cut down to the desktop now. I'm going to turn the pedal uh, to noon right across the board. The controls are fairly straightforward. Uh, you've got a level, which is just the pedal's output volume. I'm going to leave that at noon because I've already balanced it with my uh, with my DAW. Uh, we have the fuzz control, which is fairly clearly marked all over the front of the pedal. Um, <clears throat> and I love the artwork on this, by the way. Uh, hold on, I've got a note here. Um, oh, the artwork is by Hugo Moody himself, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then the bias control and the bias control controls the bias of the transistors within the pedal itself. And that's what is going to um, shift the tone for us. In a lot of fuzz pedals, your tone kind of uh, deals with the voicing, right? It, it's kind of a low high uh, EQ sort of a tone. This is different. This, this handles how much uh, bias the transistors are actually feeding through. So with everything at noon, remember, here's our clean tone. Sorry, neck pickup. Okay, and then everything at noon on the pedal. It's a very gritty, um, uh, really crackly kind of fuzz. It's not like a creamy um, kind of Clapton style fuzz. It's 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 got a li lot more edge to it. Okay. 
So for myself, I don't use a ton of fuzz in my in my regular rig because I'm more of a metal player, more of a shredder, so I like really tight, punchy distortions. Here we get that kind of fluffy bottom end. Which again is cool. It actually works much better for full chords. Very, very cool sound. I actually really like how rich that is. I'm going to turn the fuzz control all the way down so you can see what sort of range we've got. And that sounds a little bit more classic to me, but the nice thing about this is that it actually cleans up with your pick attack, so you can go in a little bit lighter. Which is really a great, um, really a great tone. Almost, um, almost gives you a breakup kind of tone when you're when you're when you're playing. So as you play more aggressively through the course of a song, you can get harder and harder and harder and dirtier and dirtier. cleans up a little bit with the roll-off. I don't know if you caught that. So when we come back to center with that fuzz control, how thick it is and I'm on the, the bridge pickup so going to the neck pickup we get really fat if you like that kind of sound again that one's not my cup of tea but this gets really cool if we take the fuzz all the way to the top I haven't moved the bias control yet That sounds fantastic. I don't I don't know how it's sounding to you guys. To me, that is awesome. That has a lot of potential to really, really give you a ton of edge. Um, kind of grungy, kind of punky, just lots of really cool stuff happening. I don't know what's going on over there. Uh, we take this bias all the way up. I'm gonna show you what this bias chip or control does in a second, but I'm gonna take this to about three o'clock and here's our fuzz so really really thickens up the, the fluffiness of that fuzz. really really great sound for soloing I'd like that with a little bit of, um, of an overdrive out front just to kind of snug up a little bit so that we get some singing tone out of it. That's me personally. Uh, you can obviously mess around with it and find a setting that works for your style, for your music. Um, but where this one really shines for me is when we, when we crush this bias. All right, so we've gone from here. And you can hear that starting to clip out, right? Now we're into just weird territory, but I love it. I love it so much. 
pushy kind of synth sounds. Right? Take a little bit of fuzz off. So I switched over to the bridge pickup. It's actually cutting notes out. I don't have any noise gate on here, but it's actually cutting noise out. Kind of reminds me of something you would get if you fused a wave crush, like a like the Sonic Cake wave crush, with uh, some kind of a ring mod and put a distortion circuit in front of it. It's, very cool sound. Dial that back just a shade. It's a sort of like funky lo-fi kind of sounds and right about 10 o'clock it starts to turn back into a, a fuzz pull that up to 12 and then all the way diming out the fuzz and the bias So that is the Royal Electronics Fantasio Fuzz. Let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think of that? Uh, I love this. I'm putting this on the Great Canadian Pedal Board because I think it is unique. It is very original sound. Uh, it is super flexible. There's a lot you can do with this. And we're gonna, like I said before, we're gonna pair this up with different kinds of overdrives and a couple of different effects. We're gonna do some um, comparison between um, you know what the pedal is on its own and then what it can do in combination with some of the other units on the on the board which i think really is where the exploration in these combinations really comes from this would go right near the front of your pedal board uh, it's not an always on type of fuzz pedal uh, but i think it makes a great choice uh, for a lot of really aggressive rhythm styles for some really funky uh, synth type uh, guitar tones and just an all-around great fuzz pedal addition to anybody's board if you are accustomed to using fuzz and you don't want to sound like everybody else with uh, some version of a big muff or a fuzz face, right? So uh, it's a tone bender kind of taken to really the weird places that only Canadians seem to be able to take these pedals too. So if you like this uh, video, make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe to the playlist and keep an eye out for the upcoming contest because on Canada Day, we are giving this whole pedal board away. So stay tuned for that and I will see you on the next one.